character, its focus, its attention, its detail, its, I mean, just everything. Sarasota's renowned comic daredevil Bello Knox says safety is on the mind of circus performers before, during, and after the stunt. The reality of it is we live life on the edge, and it's an expectation of, you know, you try to think of everything you can to keep things safe, but uh, it's also no different than getting in a car. Performers like Knock are reacting to Sunday's accident at the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus in Providence, Rhode Island. Knock is a former member of Ringling and says accidents like this are rare. And how many events happen worldwide daily and this is one accident, the odds are you're, you're better off playing the lottery. That's how much attention to detail of the safety end. And Knock is always thinking safety, even at his practice compound in Sarasota, where safety coordinator and head rigger Steve Curtis is always nearby. It's me behind the scenes saying, hey, I need to double check this and that and this and that. And I, there's a whole checklist every day of things that we go through to make sure that he's safe and that is one less worry he has to have. Sarasota high wire artist Nick Walenda also puts his life in the hands of riggers and safety team every time he performs. Walenda tells SNN he'll be pushing for more safety inspections in the industry. Actually, just starting to work on a campaign uh, that I plan taking all the way uh, you know, up through the government to get a, uh, a mandate passed to where there will be uh, mandatory rigging inspections on all of these shows. Uh, I would say 90% of the deaths in our industry are rigging related. What Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey does prior to each performance and each rigging setup is we check the safety and security of the apparatuses for every act, whether it's high wire, this particular act, the human chandelier. You don't need an accident like this to remind you to check for safety. We do it if it's a one foot off wire off the ground or a hundred foot off the ground. Reporting in Sarasota, Grant Boxleitner for ABC6 News.